It has been announced by Paul Kagame, the president of Rwanda, that he intends to run for a fourth term in the forthcoming elections. Mr. Kagame expressed his gratitude for the trust and confidence that the Rwandan people have shown in him. In an interview with Jeune Afrique, he stated that he will always serve his country to the best of his ability. The Rwandan government recently decided to synchronize the dates of its legislative and presidential elections in August 2024. Although the president had not previously announced his intentions, he has made constitutional amendments that have allowed him to serve a third term and potentially govern until 2034. As a former rebel leader, Kagame has been a prominent figure in Rwanda since the end of the 1994 genocide. He was elected with an overwhelming majority of the vote in the 2003, 2010, and 2017 elections. Despite Rwanda being considered one of the most stable countries on the African continent, some human rights groups have accused Kagame of stifling dissent and freedom of expression. President Paul Kagame also recently retired hundreds of soldiers, coinciding with the advancement of young soldiers within the nation's security framework. New generals were also appointed to lead army divisions situated across the country. The Rwanda Defense Force RDF, released a statement disclosing Kagome's approval of the retirement of 12 generals, 83 senior officers, and 6 junior officers. Additionally, 86 senior non-commissioned officers were retired. About 678 soldiers retired as their contracts concluded, with 160 others medically discharged. Prominent figures from Rwanda's 1994 Liberation War, including General James Kabarib, General Fred Ibingera, and Lieutenant General Charles Keonga, were among the retirees. Both Kabarib and Keonga had previously held the position of Chief of Defense Staff of the Rwandan Army. On the same day, Kagame elevated several young officers to the rank of colonel and designated new generals to lead military divisions. Other retirees encompassed Lieutenant General Frank Mashio Kamonzi, who was serving as Rwanda's ambassador to Russia, and Major General Albert Murisaira, a former defense minister. In June, Kagome appointed Juvenal Marizamanda as the new defense minister, succeeding Albert Murisaira, who had held the role since 2018. It is worth noting that these changes have been implemented diplomatically, indicating a thoughtful and strategic approach to the management of the defense force. President Kagame's efforts to facilitate a smooth transition and introduce fresh perspectives within the military demonstrate Rwanda's commitment to maintaining a robust and forward-thinking national defense strategy.